And more than 40 million Americans suffer from varicose veins, a condition that can not only be unsightly, but sometimes it's actually painful. Local 10 medical specialist Dr. Ari Sofer shows us how even stubborn veins, though, can be treated without surgery or lasers. It's estimated that 50% of the U.S. population over 50 has varicose veins. They're bumpy, ropey, visually unappealing, and downright painful. I have a pain all the time on my bottom feet. I don't know if because of them. So. Naysant Obisant came to me desperate for help. More than 20 years ago, he went through invasive surgery to remove his varicose veins. But then they returned. I suggested he try Varathena, an FDA-approved foam that is injected into the vein. I hope you get my leg feel better. better. Varathene is a combination of a drug to collapse the vein, called a sclerosant, along with a special sterile gas. The combination seems to work on the larger veins without the need to give too much sclerosant, which can be harmful. Three weeks after treatment, Naissance was pleased with the difference. I don't like those veins. I didn't like them. <laughs> I began to feel comfortable. Studies show that the benefits of Varathena might last just as long as surgical removal or even laser ablation. The likelihood of veins ever returning is less than 5%, making it a nice, non-invasive option in the right patient. With your second opinion, I'm Dr. Ari Sofer. We should also let you know the Varathena foam is not advised for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, along with anyone who could be allergic to the active ingredient in it, which is polydocinol. Victor? All right, Christy.